You identify as transsexual and not transgender, like most people today, or at least in my sphere. Uh, can you tell me why that is? Yeah, sure. So transsexual is the old-fashioned term. I guess everyone recognized that as an old-fashioned term. And it's on purpose that I call myself a transsexual because I want to make it very clear that I have nothing to do with um, trans ideology and the trans community today, um, as it is today. And um, unfortunately, transgender now is an umbrella term and means all sorts of things that has nothing to do with gender dysphoria and the medical transition. Now anyone can be trans and um, it also includes labels as non-binary, which is not a real thing. Uh, people who think that they're in the middle of gender. So it's such an ideological term that it has pushed me into identifying as like the old fashioned term. Yeah. And you also, you also sort of outwardly state on your social media that you're a biological woman living as a man. Is that, that's sort of the same idea? Yes. Yes. Um, that's a good point because tra the trans ideology rejects biology and common sense because transsexual people have always existed and they have never until now, um, rejected their own biology and the biological truth behind being a trans person. Um, so I like to make it very clear what my situation is. I'm not trying to pretend that I'm a real man um, or I'm the same as a, a biological male, but that's, that's what the trans community is doing. Um, and that's what trans ideology is. They're erasing actually the definition of, of transsexualism um, by saying trans women are women and trans men are men, and that's what I'm, you know, against. Yeah, can we elaborate on this term, transgender ideology? You've said it doesn't have anything to do with being transsexual. Are you able to sort of elaborate and explain that a bit more? So LGBT has always existed, and the people who are LGBT, but we're now seeing a plus and sometimes a Q, sometimes a QIA plus, and <laughs> it's it's hard to keep up. And the QIA plus represents um, gender ideology. And what is gender ideology? Well, it is the theory that there are more than two genders, that children can consent to like a physical gender transition, that it's okay for men to compete in, in women's sports. Um, so it's it's all the hot uh, bottom, what's called hot button topics uh, that we see today. Um, that's ge that represents gender ideology, and that's the QIA plus that has recently been added on to the LGBT. So, so I like to say that QIA plus has nothing to do with LGBT um, for that reason.